Definition of Salam It may be defined as a contract whereby the purchaser pays the price in advance and the delivery of the subject matter is postponed to a specified time in the future. In Sharia, sale must fulfill the following three conditions. The commodity for the sale must exist. The seller should acquire ownership of that commodity. And the commodity must be in physical or constructive possession of the seller. However, salam and istisna are exceptional from these conditions. Elements in salam transaction It may also be defined as a sale whereby the seller undertakes to supply specific goods to the buyer at a future date in an exchange of an advanced price fully paid in cash on the spot. There are four key elements in this sale, the buyer, the seller, the cash price and the purchased commodity. Background of Salam Before prohibition of interest, farmers used to get interest-based loans to harvest and caravans for purchasing commodities. After the prohibition of interest, they both were allowed to do salam transactions to get money in advance. Salam as an ancient form of forward contract. When the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, migrated from Makkah to Medina, it was found that people are used to pay in advance for fruits and dates, which are delivered within one, two, and three years' time. But such a sale was used to carry out without specifying the quality, measure, weight of the commodity or the time of delivery. So the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, ordained that whoever pays money in advance for fruits to be delivered later should pay it for a known quality, specified measure and weight of dates or fruits, of course, along with the price and time of delivery. Applications of Salam it is mostly used for small farmers who need money to grow crops and traders who need advance payment for import and export. Salam as a mode of finance. It is basically a mode of finance for farmers and small traders. It can be used by micro banks and financial institutions to support small industry. It's mostly used for agriculture financing, working capital financing, commercial and industrial financing, export financing, and operations and capital cost financing. In case of default, if the seller fails to perform due to genuine reasons, extension in delivery should be given. If total or partial quantity is delivered on the due date, the customer can either wait or they can get the money back. Understanding Parallel Salam After the execution of a Salam agreement with one party, the buyer or the seller executes another salam agreement with a third party. Parallel salam is allowed with a third party only. They must be two different and independent contracts, and these two contracts cannot be tied up. Mechanism of Parallel Salam Let us understand it with the help of an example. The bank purchases 500 bags of rice from Ali through Salam, with full prepayment and to be delivered on June the 30th. Ali delivers 500 bags of rice to the bank on June the 30th. The bank then sells this commodity to a third party called Company on Credit. After taking its delivery on an agreed date, the bank delivers it to the company. After taking delivery from the bank, the company signs a promissory note against payment on an agreed specified time. Benefits of Salam Here are the important ways of benefiting from the contract of Salam. Promissory notes. The institution can take promissory notes from a third party in advance, so when the bank receives the commodity, it could be sold on a predetermined price according to the promise. Short-term financing. Banks via parallel salam can sell the commodity for the same date of delivery. Since the period of the second parallel contract is shorter and the sale price is higher, banks can manage their short-term financing portfolios. Conditions for Salam Price and Payment The buyer must pay the full price to the seller at the time of effecting the sale. Since the object of this contract is debt, payment cannot be delayed, otherwise it will be a sale of debt for debt. Product Specifications Only those goods could be sold whose quality and quantity can be specified. 
For example, precious stones cannot be sold because quality and specification of each stone is different. Salam cannot be affected on a particular commodity or product of a particular field or fruit of a particular tree. This is because if the crop is destroyed before delivery, its delivery remains uncertain. Delivery of goods. The place and time of delivery of the object must be specified. Delivery in installments is permissible. Before delivery, the goods will remain at the risk of the seller. After the delivery, the risk will be transferred to the purchaser. Delivery of goods can be physical or constructive. And if a place of delivery is not stipulated at the time of agreement, the place where the contract was signed will be regarded as the delivery place. Difference between Salam and Murabaha In Salam, the delivery of the good is deferred and the price is paid on the spot, while in Murabaha, delivery is on the spot and the price could be deferred or on the spot. In Salam, the price has to be full in advance while in Murabaha, partial price can be made. In Salam, the commodity must not be particular, and it can be specified by specifications, while Murabaha is executed on particular commodities.